Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this crane. I wish there was a better photo, a close-up of this dusty, dangerous, poor excuse for a human being. Mm-hmm. He robbed an 11-year-old as she went to go and purchase bread for her mother. An 11-year-old. This was sent to me by Melinda Parrish. Melinda, thank you so very much. This is the, the times that we're living in. I mean, the dust is just spreading all around. It, it really is. There is, they always sink to a new low. Robbed a 11-year-old. Take a look at the footage. Fair use. I hope they find him today. It, it, it makes no sense. So check this out. Fair use. Young girl likely was spared a traumatizing sexual assault. This after the suspect right before pouncing asked how old she was. The little girl was just really on her way here to the grocery store doing an errand for her family when the suspect attacked her out of nowhere here on the sidewalk. A surveillance video of the suspect dressed in all black and wearing a backpack is seen sprinting away from the crime scene. It's a bystander you see there giving chase shortly after the attack happened near 86th Street and Northern Boulevard. According to police, the young girl was out to buy some bread for her mom around 845 Sunday morning when suddenly the suspect took hold of her by the throat and dragged her down to an alleyway near the grocery store. He then held her down on the ground with a sharp object cutting her neck suspect demanding to know how old she was and said if she did tell anyone about this that he would rape or kill her according to sources ultimately the predator ran off with the victim's twenty dollars and her house keys oh detectives believe this was some sort of sexually motivated robbery uh, the little girl did have to be taken to a local hospital where she was treated for a cut to her neck but this morning there are still no arrests in the case live in jackson heights queens i'm anthony de lorenzo pix 11. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the crime is going on in the in the areas, especially in the metropolitan areas, in the inner cities. Don't send your kid. I don't care if it's an 11 year old son. If you go together. Go together. This one trip, which is probably done numerous times, you know, just going to the store to get something. This one trip has traumatized this child. And it's not where you, you know, you can just, oh, just like then you're going to be okay. No, this one trip has just traumatized her. Try and go with your children. Heck, send them to, if, the, if you can't go, you have more than one child, they need to, and they're older, go together. But there's just no way I'm going to, I would send a child let's say 11, 12 years old to the store. That's just me because I'm, you know, safety first. We know this criminal element is out here. This fool right here has just decided to throw his life away. And don't think, this is probably just one that he's been caught. What about the ones when no one called the police? I hope they find him, find him today. Don't be so surprised, the same thing. Mammy's come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Some baby mama, some, some his mother, girlfriend, me, mom, grandmother, pow, pow. They, they know if they see this on the news, they're going to know this character. And don't be surprised if they try and shield him. In society, we have a lot of people, something negative. Oh, well, this might, it's my grandson and it won't happen again. How the heck do you know? That's my son. I can't turn him in. People are dangerous. They'll look at you and smile and may have a criminal, an attacker living with them and, and just and saying nothing. And that person is unleashed in society, committing all kind of crimes. But hey, they're not hurting the ones that they stay with. And that's all they care about. That's all they care about. It, it makes no sense. I don't care how hard times get. $20. And look what she, an 11-year-old child, look what she's gone through. So how do you think she's supposed to go out into the, into the world secure? School starts back in. This will, can be so traumatic in her mind, she won't even be able to concentrate. Oh, she may have a learning disability. No, she's got a trauma issue. 
she's been traumatized by this fool in the screen, on the screen. So you never know what's going on uh, with, with people. They're shaped by their experiences. So he has placed a lasting, due to his degradation, his evilness, his decision to do this here, he's really placed a very lasting traumatic, uh, traumatic aspect onto this young, young girl. She may have nightmares at night. Don't want to come outside the apartment. Don't want to leave home. Can't concentrate in school. Might just, you never know. People's like, oh, what's going on? You know, just start breaking down crying. And the other key, oh, she's a crybaby, always teasing. You see what the Dusties can do, the dangerous Dusties can do? He is a danger. They could drop him off in Rikers today for the next 10 years. I wouldn't have a problem. If up to me, i leave him in there for the next 30. Oh, well, that's a little bit too harsh. Let it happen to you and your child, and you'll see, we'll see how a bit too harsh it is. They said, let the uh, time... Let the crime fit the time. Just lock, lock them up. If you cannot do the time, then don't do the crime. They need to really start talking about laxing. No, they need to make some stiffer punishments. So someone definitely knows who this degenerate is. This is someone's family member. And they will recognize him just by the outfit alone. So I said, was wearing that two days ago. And they will say nothing. They will coddle this. They will coddle this big time and say not one word. And that's the society that we live in. People can be very cool. This right here is somebody's son. And he could be on a crime spree. This could just be just one that made the news. Who does something like this? Nothing but a pure savage. And if he becomes a hashtag fine with me and you'll find them other well he didn't deserve this he made a mistake oh my son oh you're a dusty dangerous son he's not fit to be in society he's just not so i am hoping as this is displayed on the news there's a number for crime stoppers i hope someone calls turn him in forget about it if it pays some money turn him in why it is the right thing to do. It is the human thing to do. He could do this to an older person, knock them down, anyone. Uh oh, they hit their head, now they're dead. Oh, he didn't mean to do that. It shouldn't be done in the first place. A lot of things go wrong with people like that. A lot of things go wrong. I was just, it wasn't supposed to go down like that. How many times have you heard that in the first four days? It wasn't supposed to go down like that. But it did go down like that. So, how about. Maybe you shouldn't have even planned it. You shouldn't have even done it. And it wouldn't have happened. But you heard that it wasn't supposed to go down like that. Some people resist. And you look up, the criminal is so mad. Oh, you thought because you had a gun, they were just going to come off their things. And they and sometimes they don't. I've seen one. They want to rob the man. Next thing you know, the guy was quick. As they call it, was it Quick McGraw? He was on it. And boom, the one in which to do the rob and end up getting got. Clean shot. And I commend the man for that. He was standing his ground. So if anyone sees this, I don't care if it's your neighbor. She seems like nice. That's her son. Who cares? Do the right thing. Do the human thing. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm out. Everybody, please stay safe.